Hi everybody and welcome to Team Valley MOT. We're going to take a little trip through the garage, see what's going on today. I want to start off in the car park though. Got a Rolls Royce Phantom in for a water pump and an oil level sensor. Absolutely amazing car. Drives like you're literally on a cloud. Um, we've also got a TVR Tamora in. Another nice car, completely different to what we've got here. But just as nice in different ways. Uh, I think we'll take a trip to the reception, see what's happening, and then we'll come back in the car park and we'll see what's going on there. This is our reception in here. We've got Jimmy on the front desk. What busy here, Jimmy? Always busy. Always busy. This is where the customers would wait in the reception. Gary would normally be here, but Gary's MIA. In here is my office. This is where I spend probably 50% of my time, I think. If I'm not in here, I'm normally in the workshop, but it's normally sort of either day-to-day -day planning or heading onto the next couple of weeks. We'd normally take appointments for bigger jobs, maybe it's a month ahead. Uh, smaller jobs, we'll put in a sort of two weeks in. Um, we use the garage hive system for the diary. So a lot of my time is just building that diary up and then ringing our existing customers, making sure they're happy with what we're doing any sort of fleet customers if they need any more from us. Organising recoveries. At the minute, there's only me and Gary can drive the big wagon. So we've got an 18 tonne recovery truck. So if I'm not in here, I'm in the wagon. But I don't really want to take Gary away from his desk because he doesn't like it. He likes to stay exactly where he is. In here, we've got the canteen for the guys. So they'll have the breakfast here at about 10 o'clock. Uh, about one o'clock they have their dinner. We we'll try and supply as much as we can for the lads' breakfast. Um, fridge is always full. Um, Monster Energy, you probably see cans everywhere around the garage. I think the whole garage runs on Monster Energy. And I think the reception runs on milk because they have 300 cups of tea every day. When the guys are in here, obviously they, they can use anything they want. The telly's on. A lot of guys seem to do a lot of overtime sometimes, so if they're staying back, obviously we'll always get them some food for the tea. Watch a bit of telly, just chill, and then once you finish, you can go back to work. We'll head through to the workshop. Now we're in the workshop. This is our garage management system. So it's where the technicians are allocated all their tasks every day. So you've got individual technicians down on the left-hand side, in each one of those boxes, there's a different task. Obviously, the varying length or um, complexity or whatever it is. So we've got this one here is for a DPF. So it gives you the customer name, all their details of what the job is. They then log on to that with their iPad. If it's green, that means it's actually gone. If it's darker green, that means they're actually on that task now. And the lighter blue is that it's still to be done. They can access that with that computer there as well. This is the smaller of the MOT lift that we've got. So this is the Transporter T6, I believe, is in for a service MOT in some sort of extra security. We see a lot of campers at the minute, especially transporters. Obviously they're a nice little thing to convert. Whoever's done this one's done a really nice job of it. It's probably one of the better ones I've seen, to be honest. Um, they're really good quality van these, and there's not a lot goes wrong with them. Um, So this one's getting uh, oil filter, air filter, fuel filter. It's just been MOT'd. Um, it passed with no problems. It's a good quality van. I believe it's just been sold, so be nice for the new owner to get out in that. Uh, something slightly different, BX220 Vauxhall. We've just done a timing chain on it, uh, and there was a problem with water getting on top of the coil pack, so we've fabricated a new cover for that to stop that happening again. Completely different to your T5 or T6 transporter, but still a really nice car. I don't know if I can get out of that. Very easy mind. I may get in, I don't think I'll get out. Um, something completely different again to them two put together. Rolls Royce Phantom. Um, this come to us from a, a really good customer of ours. Always uses for all of his cars. Coming with a water leak. He's recently just bought it. He's noticed he's using a lot of coolant and a puddle on the drive, obviously. So we've narrowed it down to a water pump. Um, and then we've got the 
old water pump off. This is the pump here. So you can see the pump is actually fairly new. Um, it's very noisy. So that should be lovely and smooth. And we've got it in bits. It's actually filled with household silicon. And then someone's trying to paint over the top of it. Obviously, that's supposed to be a hole, but it's it's actually full at the brim of silicon. Um, just a, a horrendous quality job, whoever's done it, to be honest with you. It's probably, they should, uh, they shouldn't be working on cars. But, so now we'll put a genuine water pump on this. Um, obviously a new pipe here, so this pipe comes out here. That's probably, I think it's probably one of the worst jobs I've ever seen on a car, for bodge anyway. So, uh, believe it or not, that pipe was nine pound, and someone's still getting it rather than getting one. Anyway, brand new pump from the dealers. Um, we couldn't get one from Rolls Royce, so we got one from BMW. Exactly the same part. This is the same sort of engine that goes in the seven series. Uh, I think this car is ready to go. We'll maybe just go for a walk around the workshop, um, into the car park, see what's going on, and we'll probably take this for a drive. A little Vauxhall Corsa in. This is a non runner, it was towed in by the RAC. Uh, we'll put a new battery on it because that was absolutely knackered. We'll put a new battery on, it just requires a bit more diagnostic. And then we'll get onto this one probably this afternoon, give the customer a call. Nice little car. This one's um, a customer's ours, just his workhorse. The pads and discs were down to the metal. We'll put brand new brakes on it. It's had a full health check, rest of the car. It's good to go. I think this is just going to come off the lift now, go for road test, make sure it's all right. We've got this one here, which is a original Defender. I think this is a 2001, I believe. So that's the TD5. In my opinion, that's probably one of the best engines that Land Rover's ever made. Loads of power, loads of torque. They're a little bit flat, I think, when you first get them, but put a remap on, intercooler, awesome car. We've actually got one of these ourselves. We've got a 110 double cab, and I can't, can't part with it. It's probably one of the worst driving, but nicest cars I've ever had. It drives horrible, the drive like a tractor, and loads of people always ask us why I love a Defender, but there's just something about them. They're just a, they're an awesome car. Uh, this one's had any amount of work. Um, the lady whose car is Sharon. She's had a lot of work done on the bodywork. That's why it looks so clean. We fitted the bumpers, uh, tyres, it's had brakes, engine parts, lights, uh, coolant hoses. It's had um, full new interior in it. Uh, like I say, it's had um, all the back was carpeted out by us. New headlining. Seatbelts done. Really good, uh, really good looking car. We've got the new shape uh, Defender over there. That's a 2022. That's just been That one's just been done by Urban. Urban always do an absolutely amazing job with the Land Rover Defenders. In fact, Urban always do a good job of anything they do. Um, they put the NES rear lights in it, put their body kit on it, wheels. If you're going to get anything to do with a new shape Defender, I would always recommend going to Urban. Every single thing they do comes out absolutely perfect. No horrible fitting body kits or anything. Everything is always amazing quality. I'm not quite sure why, but this one come with plain calipers. So we've just painted the calipers. Um, and Urban Huff sent us up the graphics. And we've then laid them in. But everything else they've done in the car is absolutely amazing. We'll take the Rolls Royce for a drive once we've finished here. I think we'll go for a drive around the block on this, maybe. It just didn't get the extra security. So at the minute we're fitting the Can Phantom. That stops the thief taking your car. Even if the thief actually got the key for your car, they still couldn't take the car unless the pin number was entered. So Andy's just on stripping out some parts here. We'll get the can in front of fit and hopefully one day we'll take this for a drive. Um, this ramp here has got an invisible car on it. It should be pretty full in here, but I think there's a lot of cars going out. We're getting towards the end of the day now. Callum's just pulling the VX220 out, that's all ready to collect for the customer. And we'll have a little, let's take a walk through the car park.
this Golf GTI, another really nice hot hatch. That came in for a bonnet cable. That's all done there, it's ready to collect for the customer. This insignia is in for, I believe, two injectors. Customers just give us authorization for that, so we'll get that done hopefully tomorrow. This little Fiat 500, I think these are a cracking little car, really. Very rarely go wrong. For your first car, excellent. This has just had the aircon regas because it's starting to get really warm here. Uh, service, and it's just had an MOT, past the flying colours. Uh, we've got an RAC van there. We've just put a flywheel on that. We, we repair the RAC vans while they're out sort of repairing your car at the side of the road. This was in for just a quick oil change. Um, we've got a Discovery 5 here. So the customer's had this about a year. It's an Ingenium engine. Timing chain snapped on it and it's just beyond repair the engine. So we're waiting for a new engine from Land Rover. That'll go in, hopefully get some video of that all going back together and back on the road. This is a local company, Hubway plant hire. This also requires an engine. We've got an engine just arrived in the workshop now. Uh, we'll get that in tomorrow, I believe. And we've also got a brand new, um, I've seen a brand new, sorry, 71 plate Citroen van. This is in for a clutch. So this actually went to the Citroen dealer. For some reason, they're not paying on the warranty. It's only got 3,000 miles, not sure why, but we're gonna get a clutch into that. Hopefully get this van back on the road so we can start making the money again. Over the other side here, we've got the St. John's Ambulance. We do, um, work on their vehicles pretty much every day. This one's in for an aircon condenser. The aircon condenser, these are actually remanufactured by somebody else. When they are fitted to these, because they've got aircon in the rear as well, once they've been changed for ambulance. So once that comes back from being uh, reconditioned, because the threads have stripped on the end, we'll get that back on, hopefully keep the patients nice and cool. Uh, Big van there, that's just been for MOT, nice and easy job for a change. This is our van, hopefully that's not in for anything. Right. Uh, Nissan X Trail's in for tomorrow for a turbo. Uh, this car here come to us, it's just been to another garage for front pads and discs and somehow they left the caliper slack. The caliper's come off, it's went through the wheel, it's obviously damaged the wheel. We've done all the work on the inside, that's all done now. New bolts, we've checked everything else is all right. I think we replaced the brake hose as well. We're just waiting for a new wheel from Land Rover and we've got a new tyre there ready. This is a Ford Ranger, this is in for a, a software update. So a couple of little hiccups, it's quite new, but we just put it online with Ford put the latest software and hopefully that'll fix that. This is a, another local company. Uh, it's a brand new Iveco, nothing actually wrong with the van. There's a big compressor in the back, which is something to do with putting insulation in the houses. Something wrong with the compressor, so we'll get that sorted. That's an old compressor, but in a new van. And this here is the Avanti motorhome. We'll probably do something on this motorhome when we're out and about in it, but it does need some injectors, but we're waiting for parts from America. This car actually belongs to a guy called Angus Kish from Kish Executive Cars. So they do proms, weddings, fancy nights out, take your wife out, you don't want to drive, these guys will pick you up in the Rolls Royce, take you anywhere you want. Let's try and get some speed up just to make sure it's not going to overheat. Should be fine, we've had our other job, top tech. Thanks for watching, that's all I've got this week. If you like these videos, just hit like here. If you want to see more, subscribe. Hope to see you next time. See you later.